In this week's New Scientist, I'm looking at one of the most horrifying ways in which you may die. Spontaneous human combustion. Most people seem to believe that it's a myth. And of those who do accept it, most seem to think it's associated with alcoholism. A few weeks ago at the Intermicro Symposium in Chicago, I showed that no matter how much alcohol you put into tissues, mammalian tissues just won't burn. But there is another chemical in the body that sometimes can greatly increase in our tissues, and that is acetone. And acetone is highly inflammable. At that meeting I showed videos of our experimental demonstrations of what takes place. Perhaps you'd like to see some extracts from that lecture. These brief excerpts have never been seen by the public, ever before. This is just an easy, dirty experiment just to see whether in fact you could set fire to a hunk of animal fat which has been soaked completely in alcohol. You can see it doesn't have fire. It, it becomes pleasantly barbecued <laughs> under the influence of the flame. So we tested some pork fat in some acetone for a week and then brought a flame close to it and you can see what happens. Notice firstly that the flames are intense. Notice secondly that much of the flames have a blue colour. And many of the eyewitnesses said the flames are blue. Also notice that there are jets shooting out, yes, like a blowtorch. Within about five minutes, this had burned away to about a fifth of its original size and had been reduced to ash, just like those poor people. We took some pork abdomen, which is a mixture of, of fat and conventional tissue, and we would make a scale model person, and we would then set fire to this person. She caught fire very easily and within minutes is a roaring inferno. Any person in this situation would suffer vagus shock and would probably be dead within a matter of seconds. There's no spread of the fire, but Betty herself is burning merrily all the time. And indeed, the way in which the head burns leaves a sort of a charred skull. And in many of these cases, they said how the cranium was left there, though there was no tissue on it anymore, of course. She entirely was reduced to 